what's up everyone welcome back to exotic astrology and today we shall discuss on a very short transit where jupiter will be in swati nakshatra back after a long time and then it will again move to vishaka nakshatra this is a very important time and that is why i thought that i should make a video on this all right so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the link will be there in the description below and if you have not watched my other transit videos on jupiter and saturn and rahu ketu then please watch them it's there in my channel it's flooded and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him so now what's happening is currently jupiter is retrograde as we all know it is in the nakshatra of vishakha and it is going to enter swati nakshatra and it will stay in it till so uh, till this date which i have mentioned in the video it's a very short time but what happens when jupiter moves from swati to vishakha i mean what happened when it had entered vishakha after being in swati for a long time what happens is swati generally signifies space it signifies abundance it signifies independence it signifies those areas where we desire too much it signifies those areas where we want to get something that's like that's like abundance we just it's like the mind as the shrimad bhagavatam says na mano rathe na sati dhavato vahi that the mind of a materialistic person just wants to wander it one thing after the other after the other after the other so that's what swat, swati is basically that is what swati is signifying and then what happens is when jupiter enters vishakha nakshatra we realize that there's too much of something and then we try to narrow it down to little options now some say that vishakha represents branches so it can mean two options some say it is three some say it's four but the number is not important here the point to be noted here is that when jupiter enters vishakha from swati then it can happen that whichever spiritual practices we were doing because jupiter is the natural karaka for spirituality we all know about that so then what can happen is we can try to now realistically see which are the different areas that we were working but now we are trying to narrow them down that has happened with many people after jupiter has entered vishakha from swati and then the next nakshatra which comes will be in anuradha where jupiter will enter maybe by the end of this year is uh, in scorpio then what will happen there is we will further narrow down the pathways from vishakha and then in anuradha we will focus on one thing because anuradha is the nakshatra of devotion and love and unionship but you cannot love something unless you are fully into it so anuradha means you are fully into one thing and then you develop love commitment gratitude and happiness towards that area towards that domain where jupiter is ruling in your chart uh, or whichever house is i mean jupiter is ruling so now what happens is Visha- jupiter is in vishakha but it is retrograde so we narrowed down a few options after it was in swati uh, and then now what's happening is we are again contemplating back on those options whether they are working or not suppose jupiter is the ruler of your ascendant if you are a sagittarius or a pisces lagna then you will definitely feel that your life has gone too much out of balance when it was in swati and when it entered vishakha you will feel that your life has come to somewhat not somewhat i would say bit of order but it's still not in order it will not be in order till it enters anuradha all right but now what's happening is it is retrograde so now we are again going back and now it is again going to enter swati so now what's going to happen is whatever we narrow down suppose jupiter rules your 7th house then it could happen that we decided to get married but then now we are again thinking oh should we get married because it's again going back to swati because of which now we may rethink on so many decisions Of, of of what of what we made regarding those houses which jupiter is ruling in the chart because of this now is a very good time to get a bird's eye view as they say na the eagle flies above so now it's like saying that we 
will become like an eagle and we will see what are the areas which we narrowed down and now we will get a chance to relook revisit them and try to see if there is something else we need to add or if there is something else which we need to change and if there is something which we need to include more and if there is something which we need to throw out or kick out then it is also essential that we do that because now from Vishaka, we will again see that there are too many options in Swati. So suppose Jupiter rules your sixth house, then it can happen that you do some changes in your diet, in your health, in your eating habits or pertaining to your workplace. If Jupiter rules your tenth house, it can happen that specifically some decisions pertaining to career which you had taken. Now you rethink on them, you revisit them. So these are the things which happen actually when Jupiter will re-enter Swati. So for these, the, these days which is there, uh, you will see that now suddenly people will become more optimistic about uh, some other options apart from the areas which they are already focusing. So this is what happens when Jupiter will transit in Swati. And then the other thing is because Swati represents Vayu, so they can sometimes we can feel that there's too much confusion there's there are too many things to do that always happens so for example if i tell you that oh there are uh, three kinds of milkshakes you have to take either strawberry or vanilla or mango then it's easy maybe i will choose strawberry maybe but suppose you tell me oh there are 20 juice 20 flavors now there's raspberry there's blueberry there's blackberry there is cranberry there's pinkberry there's yellowberry so then which one do you choose? Yes, I will be confused. But maybe I still choose strawberry. <laughs> but still I will have a tough time. So that is why too many options can sometimes confuse our mind. And maybe you are feeling this video is also confusing. <laughs> yes, so what to do is Swati has many significations with Hanuman. Because Hanuman is the Pavan, is the son of Pavan Dev. He is known as Pavan Putra. So it is highly essential that we pray to Hanumanji now and because he took the Dronagiri Parvat, the mountain from the Himalayas and he brought it back to Lanka which had the Sanjeevani booty to cure Lakshman. So Hanumanji has the power to dispel all the darkness, all the illusion and he can remove all the confusion like he had taken the mountain in his hand in his palm in fact now, people see palms for their future but Hanumanji had the mountain so because of that it is highly essential that we pray to him and Swati also has things to deal with Vayu as I said so because of that meditation is highly recommended and some sort of pranayam especially I have seen uh, Kapal Bhati pranayam many people do that and many people have also told that 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 is also a very good remedy when Jupiter or any prominent planet is there in Swati or if your um, your sun moon ascendant or whatever it is or your Atma Karak is placed in in Swati yes or maybe by some nakshatra activation technique Swati is getting activated now so either ways Jupiter will now be in Swati in transit so whichever house this is falling whichever house Jupiter is ruling so you will feel that there are a lot of new things coming up suddenly in that area and it is best if we can pray to Hanumanji, do our meditation properly and do some pranayam along with that and then we can make a list as I said in the video for Jupiter transit in Vishaka we need to take a pen and a paper and write down and maybe now we have to take a no notebook <laughs> the paper is not going to work because there will be too many options yeah, many people have been telling me that, oh, I was doing this in this area, but now I'm feeling like doing this and that and this and that. So that will happen. And now let's use this energy in a very positive way because Jupiter will not come back to Swati after for 12 years again. Yes, after 12 years, it is coming back. As we know, it goes around one cycle for 12, 13 years and then it comes back. So this energy where we can have a look at different uh, practices spiritually will not come again so suppose you are trying some meditation this but you are feeling that you are not able to do it then do some change in that you are doing some kind of a, uh, other spiritual practice you are doing some pranayam you are feeling that oh that that is also getting uh, there's some difficulty in doing that also so because of that you can now try to change it so it is a time for change basically and whatever changes you do now that you will again narrow down later when jupiter re-enters vishakha nakshatra so 
the takeaway point from this video is that we try to see the different options and then we try to narrow down when jupiter enters vishaka and then when it will enter anuradha we will finally stick to one or two things maybe <laughs> but even in vishaka it can happen that we are the difference between swati and vishaka is that in swati we are just figuring out everything and then when we enter vishaka it's like we have now figured among the different options what we need to do that is why it shows branches but the predicament with vishaka is we are still doing things parallelly which means there's a lack of trust there's a lack of trust in going through one single path that happens when we enter anuradha so th this is how you study the nakshatras this is how you know how the nakshatras are acting so just to say that oh vishaka is branches you are doing two two three things parallelly it doesn't work like that you have to understand what, what it is from where vishaka is coming vishaka is coming after swati because of that now the next nakshatra is anuradha so it's like narrowing down further and then sticking to one thing there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe and i hope i did not confuse you much <laughs> maybe before jupiter enters fatih i have already confused you okay so this is a great time for change and if you feel that new things are to be added or some things have to be changed then please do it it is in the uh, better it's in your good good will and in, it's in your bet better interests that you do it because then later on you can again see what are the things that you need to focus on but now during this time we might feel that oh let's do a reality check on some other options which we delineated before some things which we decided not to do but maybe they were also a better option so that is it and if you want a personal interpretation of how this is happening you can go to my website and book a reading and there i will be able to specifically tell you which areas jupiter is ruling in your chart which house it is transiting which planets are aspecting it and how your dasha is going to fructify apart from the i mean in line with these current transits of jupiter saturn rahu ketu and mars of course <laughs> okay so until next time wish you good luck with another video bye bye see you